Hi, hi, see what we've done? We've created a trading post, electronic trading post. All these one-liners and jokes, these are things that used to be on the late night show. Even Jay Leno, remember he used to read those news headlines? And Johnny Carson always did jokes on uh, the monologue on the way in. And unfortunately, the late night comics uh, lately on television have been all Trump all the time, which is a one-dimensional comedy delivery system, and I don't like that so much. Not personally, I don't, I, it's boring. But the thing that's really cool is uh, when you see all these different angles that people have, have approached this disease with and made fun of it in a way so that we could uh, at least uh, see how ludicrous some of it is. And then the other part is very serious, but you know, we're not trying to do medicine or politics here. Uh, we wanna have a, a good time. We wanna get, we wanna pass the time with a little bit of, uh, of levity, you know, or uh, Jewish, it's unlevity. So, you know, what we're doing is we're passing on the material to each other and everybody is an author of someone else's material. So now there's no copyright laws. And uh, what we've done is copyright infringement. You know, I wrote something, I send it out and then someone copies it and they take credit for it. Uh, hello, try doing that in the music. You'll see how people have stolen songs and taken their new song from some old song. You've seen examples of that before, I'm sure. And then there's the lip syncing and the uh, what is it, Millie Vanilli? Remember that one? I don't know if you go back that far. But there are a lot of things where people have taken something that doesn't belong to them. Even uh, the, the vice president, uh, Biden, he, he had a, uh, lifted a speech years ago from some newspaper writer in Delaware, and he reprinted it like it was his own. That's what people do. But now we're having one-liners and we're doing it. You know, we're sending these jokes around uh, and these videos that you did not make. So what we want is originality. Uh, this is like the people on America's Got Talent who essentially don't have any. Uh, the judges don't. I mean, you know, they sit there and they could not do anything that they have that they're judging people for. That's that's the whole that's the trick of that show. But yet we're looking at their personality, saying, "Well, you know, uh, uh, wh whatever his name is, Howie doesn't like it, or you know, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> who cares what they like or don't like? That's nothing to do with reality in life. Besides, sometimes they'll say something and the audience boos them. You know, that's the way it goes. Everybody's got a different opinion. Everyone says, in America, we are very opinionated and we're outspoken. You know, we say things that we believe, but more outspoken is the English. They say it a little bit more directly. Uh, they say it with a little bit more, it sounds more proper, but it's still a screw you. You know, and so now that's the tweet, my bird. So and, and don't interrupt me while I'm, don't tweet me while I'm talking. <laughs> So what I'd like to do is, uh, is pass on the information that I've done a lot of original things, uh, but the most original thing about me is sin. It's uh, following me on the, uh, on the Reynolds Raps uh, and follow me on YouTube. Just follow me and um, I'll be sure to lead you to a place where you, you didn't think you were going to go. <laughs> well, the road to hell is paved with good intentions and I don't have good intentions, so you're going to go to heaven with me. It's a Reynolds Rap.